Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscurian PT, and for today what I have here is the last man standing, so this game uh, was developed by a developer <laughs> known as the Free Rain Entertainment and it's using their, which I believe to be their engine, which is the Nightshade engine. So I'm currently playing the game at 720p with the minimum settings possible, as you could see a little bit some seconds ago, we couldn't choose the, to disable the shadows anyway i don't think it's uh, truly necessary the frame rate of this game spends most of its time above the 30 fps which is the some places where it drops a little bit below the 30s i know 30 fps is bad but i think it's already good enough we are currently playing this game with this laptop in fact uh, it seems to handle more or less <laughs> let's say this way so the last man standing what do i have to talk about this game last man standing is a free game so if you want to play this game you just need to go to steam and download it if you have some trouble to find it i have a link in the description of the video to the to the page of the game but i'm pretty sure you will find it with no problems so what is this game about this game is simple it's uh, the game just puts it you online against like uh, more than less 100 players and it, o it only finishes when the player when only one player is uh, missing and wins so the last man standing like the name it says so quite simple the map is huge okay and there is no trouble in finding another players because there is a barrier over there that keeps closing from time to time and so all the players are forced to meet each other whatever you want it or not because if you don't um, respect the rules of the barrier you will die eventually because of the damage because if the barrier comes and you don't uh, run basically you just keep losing health until you die so of course it's quite simple so this is pretty much the objective of the game you can unlock some stuff uh, like for example you can unlock new clothes and uh, maybe skins for the weapons i'm not really sure about it uh, but the clothes i know that is possible because i already personalized a lot of my character regarding clothes so you start with nothing and then you start and grab some weapons so as you can see the barrier is the barrier is starting to moving but soon but it seems that we are safe for now and that's pretty much it i hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video let me just kill this guy okay done uh, i hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video uh, it's going to be a full match so it, it might take a while if you want to check the results without recording it's on the description of the video or by the end of it if you want to skip by uh, to the end of the video i have a timestamp on there on the description which you can go there if you want to but that's pretty much it, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, don't forget that the frame rate is also affected by the MSI Afterburner, so MSI Afterburner is recording, so affects the frame rate, and that's all. Thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
Hello boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video. So as you can see, we got an average of 34 and a minimum of 13. Those 13 frames are the results when we want to put some... Uh, some attachments to the weapons. When I open that menu, the frame rate drops to 30s, uh, 13, I mean. So it's not really a big deal. So the bullets drop mm, realistically that we might add. It was just 20 somethings. So it's not really a bad deal. So as you can see on the consistency, 12% was uh, lower than 30 FPS. So it's quite fine. The game runs uh, mostly at 30 FPS with a couple of just small drops from the 30s, but nothing too serious. But yes, to achieve that you need to play the game at 720p with the minimum settings possible. Uh, the team, the Free Range Studios, uh, says on the Steam that uh, they are expecting to op optimize the game on the upcoming patches. Also add some new stuff to the game. I think the game is uh, nicely enough for a free game. But if, you, if they will keep adding stuff and optimizing, it's obviously always good news. So the game uses 1.6 GB of VRAM for me. This, this results, all these results are without recording because you might notice that while recording the VRAM usage was 2 GB, but without recording it was fine at 1.6. The RAM usage was 3.6 GB of RAM usage, so if you have 4 GB, I'm pretty sure you will, be, you will be able to play this game. Just make sure you don't have too much stuff on the background. The CPU usage was around the 40% and 100. Those 100 spikes were the results, um, were the cause for the GPU usage being at 90% sometimes. Uh, it seems that it's while streaming or roaming around the map that sometimes the map needs to load and the CPU usage goes to 100% because of that. But that's pretty much it. The performance is rather acceptable and it runs. That's the good news and it's free. So if you want to play this game, just go to the Steam and download it. That's pretty much it. Hope you did enjoy the video. Any question, just leave on the comment section. Thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you soon.